Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I want to make myself a little dinner. I want to spend a little less time on cooking because I'll probably be going back to work. So, uh, these are about two pounds of french fries that I got for a dollar, so I will have a little, a little bit. So, what I actually like to eat is uh, french fries and, uh, or potatoes and meat with a few veggies. So, these cook fast. Let me turn my heat up a little bit. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to watch what I eat because I'm sleeping a little better. You know, I figured, oh, oh, the, the insomnia is probably caused by the caffeine. Never thinking uh, the, the insomnia is very well also uh, caused by what I was eating. So I laid off so much sugar. And uh, I feel much better. And I'm not sleeping really good, but for me, I'm sleeping really good. Like um, when I'm laying there, I can rest. So I hope everyone is being careful, watching your money, being careful. So now what I made was, let me get it out. I made some buttermilk chicken. Ooh, this looks good. Yummy. Oh, hot. <laughs> okay, so now, 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 I have some iced tea. Uh, these, um, these Starbucks plastic cups are the best. I found I had another brand new tripod upstairs. And I was laughing and I said to my son, a true cat rat can never change because you say to yourself, wow, what if I had thrown this tripod? I don't really like it that much, but it's 100% better. One of the followers said, you should buy some salt and pepper shakers and a tripod instead of all those sunglasses and you should, you know. Okay, so now if you're new to my channel, I sold this, you guys have seen this a lot of times. This is an Invico purple dial watch. I sold this, all they have to do is send me the money. And these little paintings, uh, instead of buying some salt and pepper shakers instead of the Frankenstein uh, picture. You guys, this is a pencil on paper picture someone drew. Uh, this is a pretty prominent artist, and this is well worth about a hundred bucks. I'm not selling it, however. Uh, I try to find original works of art, and they're very difficult actually to find. And uh, this is also worth a hundred bucks. My sunglasses, some of them would sell upwards to a hundred dollars new. So that's what I do for a living. That's what I'm doing out there when you guys see me out there, owie, in the heat. I'm shopping in thrift stores and then I sell the stuff and that's how I earn money to support myself. It's so much better than doing hair. It's so much easier. So I want to try to go back to work, maybe Sunday. We'll see. Probably, I don't see any reason why I couldn't. Okay, so now for dinner, I'm having french fries. You know french fries are getting expensive. Two pounds of french fries are one dollar. And yet if you go out for french fries and a hamburger, your french fries can cost you uh, $3. So I have chicken, 33 cents per leg, fries, and salad. 
So this is all in all a cheap dinner. So in the thrift store one day, I got uh, six of these little uh, cookbooks and my idea was to sell them, but then I thought, now why sell them? They were 33 cents each. How about this one? This is a good one. And then uh, I got my fries good. So these fries take one minute. This, if this was 25 cents of fries, I doubt it. You could make your own. A lot of times I will buy fries at the end of the month, you know, instead of buying 10 pounds of potatoes, I will just buy um, a big bag, two pounds of, of French fries. I am gonna buy a salt and pepper shaker, maybe, if I get around to it. Okay, now, 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 here is my buttermilk chicken, yummy. $0.33 cents each. I'm going to be looking into maybe some, uh, take a look at this. This is a cheap dinner, like a dollar. I use shelf stable milk, one cup, one half cup, and a tablespoon of vinegar, and it made fine buttermilk. Then I made a tasty salad. I buy the veggies um, at 99 cent only. They're very inexpensive. And I try to eat my veggies with some um, balsamic vinegar. This stuff was a dollar, now it's a dollar fifty. So I have stockpiled probably about a year's worth of food. So now I can just eat my food down. I don't actually really need to buy food. Um, I, right now, I'd say it's a good idea to hang on to as much of our money as we possibly can. Then I bought these little individual cheesecakes. I need one of these in my car. These are very tasty. Sara Lee, and they have some chocolate graham cracker Now, where is it? Okay, so here is the um, the menu. So what I do for a living is swap meet. So why I'm looking forward to going to the swap meet is so I can sell all the junk in my house because I'm trying to minimize my house. And also, this is what I wanna do for a living. At the swap meet I go to, there, I mean, I admire these two. They probably went the whole time. I just didn't want to take the chance because, you know, we have the baby. They go to the swap meet every single weekend, and one of them for sure has a walker. And one of the men was telling me, oh, let me help you load your uh, stuff. And I said, oh, no, I can do it myself. And he said, well, there was a lady here who bought, brought her stuff in little boxes and when she didn't come anymore, I, I assume she died. So like he was telling me in a nice way, pack your stuff in small boxes. And I go, oh, thank you. Because I, what I did is I threw my stuff on tarps and then, you know, I was dragging the tarps around. So that was super nice. So I go to the swap meet. 
what I do is I sell on eBay and I just started Etsy. And so all the rejects that don't sell on eBay and Etsy, I just sell at the swap meet and I try to, you know, make a little money, but mainly I just want to get my money back. Okay, so now I'm still buying a little food for the stockpile. So I want to show you what I bought today. Just a little bit. I didn't buy too much. Um, in my car, I ate sardines and I ate saltine crackers today. And I bought um, one of these large cans of soup. These are really good. If you have this soup, and some crackers, you have your meat, you have your vegetables, you have your carbs, you have your um, crackers, and then I bought some uh, raisins. For the stockpile, the dry fruit is, is really good. I made, um, I made muffins. It was uh, orange muffins with walnuts and uh, raisins. Those are really good. And then I bought this, um, Chili at Walmart for $1.28. I like this stuff. And then I bought these. These are good with crackers. I eat this kind of stuff in my car. You guys see me. I go up there to walk. Now, when I go back to the swap meet, that is awesome because I don't have to exercise. Because, you know, I get plenty of exercise. In fact, I almost kill myself. So this is what I bought my son. This is a little package. Okay. The coronavirus came from Wuhan, China. And I wrote it down somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. China has a population of 1.398 billion people. So trying to contain the COVID in this humongous country was probably impossible. Not probably, it was impossible. But you can round up and say 1.4 billion people. Now, the Delta, the Delta uh, variant is coming out of India. They have 1.366 billion, so you can say 1.4 billion people. So basically the same. So be saying to yourself, okay, possibly what's happening is round two of the COVID, but this time it's going to be the Delta variant. So we're watching for, uh, we're watching for a uh, headache, sore throat, runny nose, fever, and persistent cough. That's what we're watching for. And if we're somewhere and we see somebody who looks like they have a fever and they're coughing, we want to evacuate the area. So um, what they're saying is right when this Delta virus strikes, just like the last time, no masks and gloves, this time they're saying no over-the-counter uh, medications. So I bought an antihistamine. You know that time I was sick and I went to the um, the uh, emergency room? I heard him order Benadryl for me. So when I got home, I took four doses of Benadryl and I came out of it. Never knew what was wrong with me. And uh, this is something they have very little of, cough drops. And then I bought three, I bought three of these. And so what I do, if, if I go, <coughs> I start sucking on these immediately. Or if I have, if I sneeze, I rinse my nose out. You know, I pour, don't lean back or it'll run into your ears, but I pour water down one side and then the other and blow my nose good. And then this is the stuff I would expect them. I was able to get all this stuff for a dollar. Robitussin DM and, and this is one with uh, sleep aid. I don't use this, but my son does. If it comes to that, let's hope it doesn't. So be stocking up a little bit on over-the-counter drugs if you can. I mean, one or two a week. 
So as soon as the variant hits, there's maybe going to be no uh, over-the-counter drugs. Now I want to mention one thing. I'm hearing some pretty unkind things said about President Biden and Camilla Harris. And these people are not exactly in Americans. They're kind of like from India. And I'm thinking, don't you think you guys have enough problems in your own country right about now? And also a true, a true pastor will not lead the flock into danger. I see the possibility of people trying to, um, to stir up like a civil war, a civil war in our country, like to weaken us down, uh, you know, all you know, you think we're weakened with our 350 million? How about these other two giant countries? So, you know, if people can incite these, um, a civil war, if any of you have been through a war, like, you know, my ex-husband and the Vietnam War and stuff, uh, that's not the direction uh, we we want to go. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my man in the moon ring. Now, let's see if I can see it. This is what I bought myself. It, it's so cute. I bought my, these sell for a hundred bucks. If I needed money, yeah, let's sell it. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Four million views. Uh, you guys will see the blue ring in my videos i bought those for one million views and if you're new i want to tell you getting so anyway a prophet will not lead the the sheep into any kind of war that's more like the other side or you know a true leader who is concerned does not want to see the american people you know uh most of the time you know us Americans stick together, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, so I wanted to say, if you have a channel, it was actually more difficult to get like 200 subscribers than a thousand subscribers. I have a very slow growing uh, channel, which is fine. I'm grateful for all the subscribers I have. And it, it was easier to get 4 million views than one million views. But I see some of the women, you know, I'll tell you one that I, I think is really on the right track is Jan from New York City Saves Money. She has a great channel, but the way she works on her channel all the time is, is really good. She's making some good progress and her channel is awesome too. So you can check that out, you'll like it. So uh, just, so now let's say if there was some kind of riots or um, civil unrest or civil war, that would be nothing but more poverty and death. And so we already have at-risk populations. The ones I see are unborn babies, uh, homeless men, young adult men, uh, the elderly, um, so, you know, like me, the elderly, I'm trying to avoid uh, any of the pitfalls of old age. Uh, sound nutrition is probably your best bet. I feel much better since I'm, what I was doing is I was eating as much as I wanted, anytime I wanted. And same thing with drinking. You know, drinking Diet Coke, drinking this, eating that, it just went on and on all day long. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing easier meals. Like this meal took long enough just to put the milk in the flour and throw it in the oven and the french fries a couple minutes. And I'm adding more veggies, too. That's enough for two days. So I'm saving energy, and the garden is coming along nicely. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.